Hey folks, back with another vid. Uh, this time, breaking out all the big boys. This is the K-Bar collection video. Uh, I figure I'd say right off the top here that all the fixed blades here are made in the United States. They're all made in only in New York. And they are all 1095 Crovan steel. To the best of my knowledge, I believe all the fixed blades are. Um, I don't think the folders and the small ones in the top, so we'll talk about those separate. But I figure we'd start with the iconic USMC knife. When I thought of K-Bars, I didn't know much about K-Bar when I first started collecting knives, but I knew this. <laughs> This is the uh, the traditional, your stereotypical USMC 1095 Crovan stacked leather handle. Um, K bar only in New York, and the nice leather sheath. And as most knife collector knows, that's where it starts. <laughs> I think in order of buying, I think this was the next one, I realized that K-Bar made a huge version of the USMC, which is basically, this is essentially the same knife. I can even fit it in the screenshot here. This is the big brother. So I guess if the USMC had a big brother, this is what it would be. Bad ass. <laughs> Uh, probably one of the best cardboard slicing knives and heavy use. I, I cut down a shed full of cardboard when my brother moved here. Um, I like the idea of the serrated back instead of a combo edge. However, it is a little dangerous. I nicked myself a couple of times and both times I cut myself with this was because of these scary sharp serrations. Great for rope and stuff, but I think they get in the way more than more than they help. Um, it did go a little dull after cutting, and I mean a shed full of cardboard, man. It went a little dull, so I put it on the Lansky and put it close to a mirror edge on there. But yeah, that was the next one. So at this point, I'm hooked now on K-Bar knives. <laughs> um, I'm going to leave that one out of the way. Um, after that, I think about this one which is a real nice codex sheath and this is the USMC tactical version um, again only in New York combo edge the serrations are part of the blade but just basically the same USMC knife dressed to kill just in a tactical version you know I did some Google and searching on YouTube and uh, all over the internet and I discovered they made a Tanto, a Japanese Tanto, Japanese influenced Tanto. I just fell in love. I had the, I'd memorized number 1245. I memorized the number on there. I was searching and searching to find this thing. But it is wicked. Only in New York. They do a short version of it too. If I came across it, I'd have to buy it. But I'm uh, not going out of my way to order it or anything. I just love this one. I've got them all oiled because they are kind of prone to rust. They're 1095 steel, so try and keep the edges where they're exposed and greased up. But yeah, that was a holy grail knife for a while, that Tanto, for sure. I <coughs> uh, showed you that one. I'll kind of take them away. And we showed that one. Um, the uh, the ultimate bushcraft knife, they call it. This is the Becker BK16. And you'll notice that mine has been stripped of its sandpaper finish, man. This thing had a very coarse sandpaper finish. Not like the other K-bars at all. Sandpaper, like skate tape. So I stripped it down, I put the spine on a uh, belt sander and made it pretty much like a hockey skate, it's that sharp. And uh, again mirrored it out, did a little mirror polish on the edge. And this thing is great, 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 great. 
I'm looking at um, 710 sheaths. I think I'm going to get a sheath made for it. A Kydex sheath. Because this thing is just ridiculously huge and it fits other knives better. I think it's better suited for another knife. I've got another knife in mind for this sheath and I want a Kydex one for the BK-16. And I did order a set of uh, micarta scales from K-Bar. I forgot about that. I did order a set. I'm going to have to check in on those. But uh, yeah, it's a work in progress. It's a really cool knife. Uh, then K-Bar did the Jarrus collaboration. If you guys haven't seen Jesse Jarrus, go check out his website. Or his Facebook or YouTube, I mean. <laughs> go check out his YouTube. He does like an overnight thing where he takes the... Uh, one of the one of these with him, the globe trotter, I believe, the smaller, and um, just a great camp style knife. Really cool modern design. I don't know what it is, man, but I really love the shape and style. Um, and this one is the big brother to that, with a absolutely incredible cool sheath. The sheath has this little nub here that catches on the corner of the blade. It in and out really solid. You can take all the webbing and stuff off with just a velcro here. So really nice sheath with this one. Really crappy sheath with the globe trotter, man. The Taruk. That doesn't say it on it, but this is K Bar Jarris Collaboration Taruk. I think I'm pronouncing it right. I'll put some watermarks on it anyway with the proper spelling. There's the model number, 7503, and again, only in New York, 1095 Crovan. Really nice feel. I know some people don't like how they make the tang protrude, but I really like it. It gives it a rounder feel in your hand. The tang slightly protrudes the handles all the way around, which gives a nice... Well, Tops does that too, I like that. That one and that one, yeah, so the... Same deal, just on a smaller scale. This would be a nice carry on your hip. Get a better sheath for it and this would be a really good EDC fixed blade if you're in that kind of work where you need a fixed blade on you. But I haven't sharpened either, I've kind of kept them as collector pieces. But they are really cool. Um, K-Bar just announced that they're doing a folder. There's two Jarrus folders being released. They haven't hit in Canada yet where I can get my hands on one, but the minute they do, I'm totally going to get one of those. Uh, right now, the only... Well, let's finish with these. This is the TDI Law Enforcement, I think this is called. Oh, not not USA. Taiwan. Not 1095 Crovan either. I don't know, it was Aussie or something. But hey, nice little knife. It was pretty cheap and... I kind of dug it. So I bought it because I collect K-Bar at this point. Eh? <laughs> Same with this one. This is the Hinderer TDI Hellfire. has a cool sheath with a button that holds it. Reten retention. Push button retention. I don't know. But yeah, there's that. TDI Hellfire. Really cool. Can we get that? There we go. Cool ass logo. And again, this one is only in New York. I don't think it's 1095 though, it might be. This a nice feel. Really cool little thing. There we go. That's better. Yeah, cool as hell. I like the Hinderer designs as well. I like the Hinderer stuff that Kershaw does. So. And last but not least, the only K-Bar folder I have, this is the TDI Law Enforcement Folder. I think that's what it's called, or the TDI folder or something like that. This TDI business I keep saying is the Tactical Defense Institute. I think that's their logo. I don't know if we can make that out. How close will she go? There you go. TDI, it's the Tactical Defense Institute. And they use this kind of shaped shape of blade for training. Or they train with this shape of blade, I should say. But yeah. This is the folder, TDI folder. And again, that's a uh, Taiwan or China or something. China. 
But yeah, liner lock. That's pretty cool. So that is the K Bar collection as of fall 2016. Um, like I said, the minute that the Jarrus knife comes out, it's mine. And there's a few other ones I like too, but right now that's a pretty good collection. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, folks. Bye.